Hi you guys, uh, my name's Dan. Um, I'm filming uh, this rig series uh, on behalf uh, of Infusion Baits. Um, and in the next few videos we're going to be talking about rigs that are ideal for the newbie carper and the junior angler. Um, and they're designed to be informative videos for people who are looking to improve their rig techniques, learn how rigs work and see how they act underwater. Okay then, well let's get started. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the rig known as the KD rig or the knockdown rig. Um, it uses all the same components as the standard hair rig so it's perfect for uh, people that don't have uh, much money for tackle um, who aren't confident in tying more complex rigs. Um, so now we're going to show you how it acts. Okay guys so let's get started. Um, the rig that we're going to be talking about today is known as the KD rig or the knockdown rig. Uh, the rig is designed to have an aggressive hook angle, um, it's really catch the carp in the bottom lip as they eject the bait. Um, when compared to the hair rig, um, as you can see at the back there, this is the KD rig here. As you can see it's got quite an aggressive hook, hook angle coming off the knotless knot. And this is down to the fact that the hair is thrown out of the knotless knot after two turns and that gives the hook the really aggressive angle that it needs to really bite down into that bottom lip when the fish ejects the bait. This is the standard hair rig that we have here. As you can see the hair is quite flat against the back of the hook uh, and this although still being an effective rig and quite simple it's just it, the KD rig holds the advantage that the the hook is going to get a much better hold in the in the fish's lip and a much greater chance of being hooked when the fish ejects the bait. Okay so let's get started on how to tie the rig. Okay so what you're going to want to start off with is uh, a length of braid. I've cut this at just over a foot long. Um, you're going to want to start off by tying a simple uh, overhand knot in the end of your hooking and you're going to want to pull that tight what this does is it creates the hair coming out of the back of the hook. Um, you might want to you might want to trim uh, the excess uh, materials that you have while you're doing it. Cause this can this can help, especially if you're just starting out. Cause you don't want excess bits of of uh, braid getting in the way when you're trying to tie what seems like a confusing okay. knot. So once you've tied your simple overhand knot to make the hair uh, of your rig, what you're going to want to do is you want to grab your hook and you're going to thread the braid through the eye of the hook. This is a little bit tricky looking through a camera so please excuse me. There we go. Okay and what you're going to want to do is you're going to pull that down to the hair and you'll see that now you have what's starting to look like a hair rig. So depending on what baits you're going to be fishing with, I'm I'm going to be fishing with the um, Infusion Baits Snatch Boilies. Uh, they've worked great for me so far. Um, and what you're going to end up is something that looks like this. So you want to keep the hair going along the back of the hook. And what you're going to do to create the knotless knot is you're going to come around the back of the eye, wrap around not once but twice. Once you've wrapped around twice you're going to keep the line tight and move the hair out of the way like that. And then as soon as you've done that bring your rig material back over the hair just make sure it's get out of the way there and then keep wrapping it around I'm going to choose to do eight wraps on this. Okay, so now what you should end up with is something that looks a little bit like this. And what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to keep uh, the, the knot that you've tied so far on the shank of the hook tight. And you're going to want to get the end of your hook link material and pass it back through the front of the eye of the hook. OK, 
Okay. So when you've done that, you're going to want to pull it, pull it fairly tight. And then, as you can see, you've created a knotless knot with quite an aggressive uh, hooking angle. And that's a really strong, really simple knot that almost anyone can okay, tie. So the final step, really, in uh, tying this rig is attaching a swivel. Um, I've got a size 8 swivel here. Uh, it doesn't really matter what size you use, obviously that's down to the preference of the angler. Um, and what I'm going to tie it with is a simple blood knot. Um, as you can see, the braid hook link materials pass through the eye of the swivel. And you're going to want to just make a first loop. I tend to do seven. Uh, turns on the blood knot for good luck, and you just go on and spin it round. Three. Okay. So as you can see, we've got seven turns on the knot here, and what you're going to want to do now is pass this tag end you've got back through the first loop that you made. Okay. So once it's through the the uh, first loop that you made, what you're going to want to do is just wet the hook link material. And once you've done that, you can pull it tight towards the ring in the swivel. And as you can see, that's created a nice coil pattern on the swivel. And that's a really strong basic knot, again, that almost anyone can tie, no matter what you are, beginner, or if you're just getting into the sport. That was literally 30 seconds under that tree as well. Mm.